Hello everyone, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is... Where is it? Um, not this one. Journeys for Jesus, Paul's Journey and Trails. Let's read. Paul believed that God wanted him to tell Gentiles about Jesus, so he made three trips through Syria, Turkey, and Greece. Many people decided I believed in Jesus, and many churches were started. So Paul believed that God wanted him to tell Gentiles about Jesus, so he made street trips through Syria, Turkey, and Greece. And many people believed in Jesus, and many churches were started. He's telling about Jesus. Maybe this is Turkey. And maybe the next one will be great. <laughs> Greece. <gasps> Years later, Paul returned to Jerusalem. Some people were upset by his teaching and attacked him. He was unfairly arrested since Paul was a Roman citizen, he asked for his trail to be in Rome. So years later, some uh, Paul returned to Jerusalem, and some people were upset by his teaching because Paul was teaching that Jesus is lie, and yeah, but he's changed now. So he told about Jesus everywhere. So some people were upset, and. A and attacked him and he was unfairly arrested and Ro Paul was a Roman citizen so he asked for his trail to be in Rome and these days the Roman Roman was a very big country was put on a boat head from for Rome. The trip was slow. Let's wait and pray until the stormy season is over. Paul suggested the captain sails ahead away. And Paul was put on a boat head for Rome. The trip and the trip was slow. And he said, let's wait until the stormy season is over, Paul said. Paul suggested that the captain sailed ahead away. Question, where was Paul when he got arrested? Number one. Um, I don't know where is that. <laughs> number three. I think it's Greece. And number two is Greece. And maybe number three is Jerusalem. Then number one will be Jerusalem. <laughs> I said number three was Jerusalem. There was a huge storm. Everyone thought they would die. 
But an angel told Paul that they would all be saved and he would get to Rome. Paul told the others and when they were sailing the boat, there was a huge storm and everyone thought they would die. But an angel told Paul that everyone will be safe, no one will get hurt or die. So Paul told everyone, and also the angel said he would get to Rome. Someone stopped it. Uh, someone spotted the spotted land. The sailor planned to abandon ship and let the others die. Paul warned, "You will survive only if everyone stays aboard." The boat crashed on an island called Malta and someone spotted land and the sailor planned to abandon the ship and let the other star and power you will survive only if everyone stays aboard the boat crashed on an island called Malta Question, did the angels tell Paul that only a few people would die in the storm? No. If the angel told them everyone will survive in the storm. The soldiers were afraid of being punished if the prisoners escaped, so they decided to kill them. But their commander liked Paul, so he ordered his men to let them live. The soldiers were afraid of being punished because if the prisoners escape, they will be punished. So they de decided to kill them, but their commander like Paul, so he ordered that not. Uh, what else to say? He ordered his men to let them live. They staggered ashore, just as Paul has said. Everyone was alive. The ruler of Malta let them stay with him. His father was sick. When Paul prayed for him, God healed him. And the ruler of Malta let them stay with him. And his father was sick. When Paul prayed for him, God healed him. Got killed him. They boarded another ship and went to Rome, where Paul was chained in a house. Well, there he wrote letters to church, the new churches around the world. You can still read his letters in the Bible. So, they boarded another ship and went to Rome. And Paul was chained in the house. And while he was there, Paul's son wrote letters to the churches and we can see the letters in the Bible.
Question: While Paul was in Rome, he wrote letters to teach the churches. True. Yesterday, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time, I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.